Hi, my name is Lori, and I've been an Android developer for more than 15 years, since the beta. Gemini for Android Studio really accelerated my app development when it came to creative tweaks. I used to leave the IDE to go build custom color palettes, but now I can ask Gemini to give me a gradient in the style of the Northern Lights. When working with haptics, I can just ask Gemini for a custom waveform in the style of an engine revving. And it gives me a pretty good answer to that. By setting some coding standards and leveraging Gemini for Android Studio's ability to take my creative ideas and run with them, it has saved me hours of work and context switching and made rapid prototyping a lot more fun. My tips for developers trying Gemini for Android Studio are to set some ground rules up front for your coding standards, and then really try and get creative with how you work with Gemini for Android Studio. Hi, I'm Shivangi, and I work for Suki AI. I had never developed for a Wear OS before. This was a new territory for me. That's where Gemini in Android Studio came in. I prompted with just one line of input, describing the UI I want in Jetpack Compose. And Gemini in Android Studio returned five working solutions. Five. It was like having a seasoned developer right by my side, guiding me through something I had never done before. What sets Gemini in Android Studio apart is its contextual problem solving. It acts like a knowledgeable teammate who understands my project structure and provides relevant code improvements, saving me days of documentation. Buy a tip for developers. If you're using Gemini in Android Studio, be clear with what you want and it'll help you get there faster. Ask specific questions and it'll generate useful code examples that enhance your skill through hands-on practice. Hi, I'm Darshan. I've been an Android developer for 10 years. I use Gemini in Android Studio to simplify the legacy code base, update the tool chain, and make the app runnable with the current version of Android. I was confident that my app has been updated properly and unit tests are working as expected. If it were not for Gemini in Android Studio, I estimate it would have taken me at least one month to get the app ready manually. My tip for developers using Gemini in Android Studio is to be specific with the prompts. Clearly state what you want Gemini to do, whether it's writing code, generating tests, debugging errors, or answering any technical questions. Gemini is a very powerful tool where more detailed instructions lead to more accurate results.